every day I'm reminded just how foolish, unlearned, and retarded you Christians really are. Even all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadas. Double honors due unto the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Baath Shadawada, which is the house of David the elect. I'm smart moth, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, discoursing with the Christian, it's like you. Discoursing with a Christian does have, you know, some benefit. Um, like the primary benefit is you get, you know, you, you, you get uh, lesson ideas. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know, but really it's, it's, it's vexing dealing with Christians, especially a, especially a Christian who has been a Christian like their whole life. Like someone who, start, you know, started going to the church house when they was, you know, little kids and now they you know, 40, 50, 60 years old, you know, they, they, they're gone, man. They're gone. And, um, but you know, Hey, like I say, you know, they, they, if, if you, if you, uh, discourse with a Christian, you know, uh, um, if you have regular discourses with, with Christians, that's okay. Cause you're getting, uh, you're getting lesson ideas that can be, you know, and those lessons can be, uh, can be beneficial for the elect lambs out there, you know, to, to, to edify and build up the lambs. I had one Christian tell me one time that the elect didn't need to hear the word anymore. Once they heard it, that they, that they, that they were good. So I'm like, wait a minute, you don't, this, this word is, 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 is referred to as daily bread, man. Like you need his word, you know, every day. You don't even need physical, you know, bread in the physical sense every day, but you need, you got it. You need this word every day, you know? I mean, uh, what does it say in the book of Acts? Let me, let me, um, I don't have any precepts lined up. This is all, you know, in the spirit, but it was just, this is something that was on my mind yesterday. Um, what is that? Where it says, uh, the Bereans, hold on. Um, they were more noble. They were more noble than the Thessalonians, let's see. Yeah, they, uh, I had a Christian tell me, you know, well, you don't need to be preaching to the elect because they already heard it. And, and so you just need to you know, talk to lost souls, preach to lost souls. Nah, man, that's that way. That, that's that's a clearly. And that was coming from a Christian who had been who, who had been a Christian their whole life, went to by their own testimony, went to a. a a, a, a private Christian school growing up, graduated from a um, a private Christian school, graduated high school, you know, gone, man. Person's completely gone. This is Acts chapter 17 and verse 11. And it reads, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica, talking about the Bereans. All right. It says who were Israelites, by the way. All right. It says. In that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. So they, they, if you want to be noble, okay, if, if you have a ready mind, you're going to be searching these scriptures daily, man. Getting that daily bread, being built up, being rooted and grounded, especially in these last days, man, because we about to this. It's crazy out here, man. You can't even keep up with all the news that uh, that that that's being reported lately. Can't keep up with it, man. Trains derailing every day. You know, uh, you know, freedom of speech. You know, being eviscerated. You know, uh, uh, Russia. You know, uh, um, that situation over there in Ukraine becoming more and more, you know, intense. You know, the nation's fleeing away from the dollar. I mean, a lot of things are going on according to prophecy. So you best be in these scriptures every day, you know? Anyway. You Christians err, man. You Christians are in error. And here's here's the other thing I was thinking about. You know, Christianity has made our people, you know, the Lord's people, 
you know, just has just dumbed our people down, man. You know? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, who are the Lord's chosen people, by the way, are along with you speckled birds, man, because a lot of you Israelite foreigners are up in these Christian churches, so-called. You become dumbed down, man, made stupid. And, and you know, first and foremost, you, you know, first and foremost, it's not a number on our men. The men of our nation, man, the men of our nation have been have, have become docile. Through the through the worshiping of idols, man, and and and, and following uh, uh after the queen of heaven, because that's what Christianity is: it's queen of heaven worship. Our men have become docile, weak, you know, effeminate, lazy, you know, and our women have become you know monsters. They're boisterous, loud. You know, they, they usurp the authority over them, over them, over the men. Out of order, man. That's what that's what this ideology, that's what this Roman philosophy has has led to. All right. It's a scourge, man. Um hold on. Let me get a quick scripture. Slakia. This is Matthews chapter 22 and verse 29. And it reads, Yahweh answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures. That's right. You're in error because you don't know the Bible. You know, you think you follow on the Lord, but you, you, you all again, Christianity is the worship of the queen of heaven, man. You put Mary up on a pedestal. Mary is worshipped as some eternal virgin. Mary was a chosen vessel to bring forth the Messiah. Okay. Joseph put his seed in Mary. All right. And Mary nourished that seed in her womb. You, you were never supposed to idolize her, man. Yahweh said, I didn't idolize his mother. Now you're supposed to honor your father and your mother. Yeah. I said, that's in the law. Not put her up on a, on a pedestal. And call her Virgin Mary and, and, you know, make images of her and pray to her, man. A lot of you Latin tribes, y'all y'all straight up pray to the Virgin Mary, so-called Virgin Mary. How could she be a virgin? She had other children, too, besides Yahweh's size. Anyway, huh, you do err not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God, right? You think you, y'all you, don't know the power of Yahweh, but some Yahweh's All right. Y'all don't know the power of, 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 of the God of the Bible, all right? And this weekend, you you know, you foolish Christians, man, you're getting ready to just commit gross idolatry with this Easter, you know, Easter madness, which, you know, that goes back to the goddess Astarte. A lot of, matter of fact, let's look that up. There's no now the word Easter does appear appear in the Bible, but if you look that word up, that word is Passat, you know, that word is Passover. And just because a word appears in the Bible doesn't mean that you <laughs> the word adultery is in the Bible. You ain't supposed to commit adultery. I mean, the, the word fornication is in the scriptures. You ain't supposed to commit fornication, which a forn which fornication is adultery. But in a spiritual sense, you know, it's, it's, it's the worshipment of idols, you know? Anyway. You know, you're going to be, you know, there, nowhere, no, nowhere in the Old Testament did the Lord tell you to celebrate this custom. This is, this is, you have learned the ways of the heathen, man. Jeremiah, the 10th chapter. All right, Astarte, goddess of war and sexual love. Okay. This is who you really, this is who you really uplifting. This is who you're going to be uplifting on Sunday, Sunday morning, which, and also, you know, the worshiping of the sun, S-U-N. Because at the end of the day, all these religions go back to ancient Egyptian sun worship. All right. Astarte, goddess of war and sexual love. 
Um, hold on. Start a. Oh, man. Hold on. Start a. The supreme female divinity of the ancient Middle East, particularly of Phoenicia, Tyree, Sidon, and Elot, goddess of fertility and sexual love. Hebrew scholars believe the goddess Ashtaroth, mentioned so often in the Bible, is a deliberate conflation of the Greek name Astarte and the Hebrew word Boshet, meaning shame. Uh, indicating the Hebrews' contempt for her cult. Yeah, you, you, you Christians are in a cult, man. Christianity, you, you know, you're part of a cult. All right, y'all would like to say we in a cult cause Muslims, you know, cause whack jobs. You know, we just, you know, that's all part of the, the ministry. It's part of this walk, but now y'all the weirdos, man. Anyway, you can you can look up, you know, Astarte. Easter, Astarte. You're gonna be buying, you know, baskets and putting fake grass in them, and 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 and, <laughs> and boiling eggs and dyeing them and hiding them and chocolate bunny rabbits. What does that have to do with a uh, resurrection of the Lord? You were supposed to be uh, holding the Passover. And doing the unleavened bread, man. That's a holy day according to the Bible. This this Easter shit, because that's what it is. I'm gonna call it what it is. This Easter shit. Again, that's a that's that's a custom of the heathen, man. Judah got into a lot of trouble, man. The southern kingdom got into a a lot of trouble. Worshiping the queen of heaven, man. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 18. The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire. And the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. That's what you're going to be doing this weekend. Provoking the Lord, Yahweh, Bashamal, Shah to anger. And he's pissed off right now. The death angels are out in force. Judgment. Is going down on the earth. Calamities. You know. Again. It, it's it's hard to keep up. You know. You don't want to be. You know. Making him angrier. Huh. <laughs> but that's what you can. But that's what you're going to be doing. With this Chris. Oh, it's like it. With this uh, Easter. Nonsense. It's also. This also is. Um, repeated. By the prophet Jeremiah in the 44th chapter. Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 18. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings under her. We have wanted all things. And have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And that's what's going to happen. All right. Because, you know, this false worship. You know, is going to lead to you being, you know, taken out, man. All right. Esau is sharpening up his sword. He's ready. He's getting ready to declare martial law. And shut this thing down. All right, when 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 it's S H T F time, you know he's gonna throw a lot of you Israelites in the concentration camps. You know a lot of you are gonna be put to death, man. You know during this time, during the time of Jacob's trouble, it says and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. Yeah, right. And that a, a horrific famine is coming on this land too. You know. Along with a famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Amos the 8th chapter. You know. Read in verse 19, Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 19. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Yeah, see, and that's, you know, and, and and mostly it's the women that got our men in this nonsense. The dudes are just going along to get along. 
my old man was that way. I remember when I was a kid, you know, my my mother, she was raised in a Roman Catholic home, you know, Sicilian mother and an Irish father. Uh, and so she wanted to raise me in a Roman Catholic home, man. My dad didn't, he went along just to keep the peace, man. He didn't believe in that shit. You know, I should have started in verse 17. Huh. That's okay. You know. Well, you know, again, the southern kingdom got in a lot of trouble, you know, for this, you know, for this, for fornicating, man. All right. Um. Yeah, what was that other scripture? You worship what you, let's see, you worship. Yeah. yeah. It's the book of John, chapter 4, and verse 22. And it reads, ye worship, ye know not what, all right? We know what we worship, right? See, we we, we as the whole let we know what we worship, starting with the elder apostles of the great millstone on down. We worship in Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, we follow, we seeking to follow his law, statute, commandments, all right? We know what we worship. It says, for salvation is of the Jews, all right? Judah, Yahweh, all right? Which the southern kingdom, all right, is, is a, uh, Comprised of Judah, all right, the so-called Negroes, all right, uh, um, Benjamin, all right, the the, the so-called uh, uh, West Indians and, and Levi, all right, the so-called Haitians. Okay, Yahweda, Banyamyan, and uh, Loya. Yeah, man. So hey, you know, and you can go read this whole account. Cause um, let's see. This is when Yahweh was. Uh, speaking with the woman at uh a Samaritan woman. You know, the woman at the well, you can read this account. Anyway. See that woman thought she was worshiping the Lord. You know, she thought she was, she, she thought she was doing right, you know. Anyway. Yeah, you Christians don't, you don't know, you, you don't know, you know, you, you have no clue, man. You clueless. You worship, you, you know, not what, All right. <laughs> Hey, man, you guys, man, y'all are royally deceived. And the Most High is the one. Actually, the Most High is the one at the end of the day that's got you that way. He's got you deceived. You know, got you out here stumbling in the noonday. This is just something I was thinking about. You Christians don't know the Bible. Okay. Easter is, is not a, a, a biblical custom. It's not a feast day of, of the Lord. All right, and you need to repent, man. You know, you need to repent. You need to drop that idolatry. You need to turn from your idols. Man, hold on, let's let's get that in uh, Ezekiel's, and then I'll um, I'll wrap it up. I'll get right to the point. I believe that's Ezekiel's fourteen and verse six, and it reads, "Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, all right, it's for you Israelites, it says, thus saith the Lord, you have a power, repent, all right." Repent, man, and turn yourselves from your idols. That's right. Turn away from that idolatry. Turn away. Get out of them Christian churches, man. They're going to be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed right along with them. You know, you're going to be eating hams on Sunday, too. You know, it's just, you know, making a mockery of the Israelites. Okay? That's where that custom comes from. Look that up, man. I, I ain't going to look it up, you know, because, again, I don't want to make this real long. Just... A quick, just you know, just a few thoughts. All right, and it says, "Repent and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations." That's what you need to do, and do it now. All right, Lord willing, He was edified through the Spirit. It's on to the next one. With that, I want to say, Shalom.